hydrogen sulfide, carbon dioxide, and water are present in the overhead system, and this mixture is very corrosive. A small amount of amine, about a half percent, in the overhead condensate used for reflux will help prevent corrosion in this area of the stripper. Remember, the highest levels of concentrated hydrogen sulfide are in the overhead system of the stripper. Therefore, always follow proper safety procedures when working around this area of the stripper. There is usually space in the overhead system for separation, where most of the entrained amine solution particles in the vapor stream will settle out. Amine solution not settling out will be removed by a mist eliminator. This prevents liquid amine from being carried out of the stripper and into the overhead vapor line. Carryover in the still column results from foam buildup caused by contaminated amine solution or dirty trays or packing. However, it can also be caused from a high vapor rate. Carryover will happen continuously when the vapor rate is high enough to agitate the amine solution on the top tray so that a foam forms that is too thick for the mist eliminator to handle. When this happens, the vapor rate must be reduced to eliminate carryover. Level control on the stripper is important in stabilizing operation. The level controller should be adjusted, as in the contactor, to hold a uniform flow rate of lean amine out of the stripper. Flow rate surges will cause the reboiler to operate inefficiently and may overload it. Reflux is a process where a fluid is removed from a vessel, condensed, and returned to the vessel to enhance the process. The reflux system consists of the reflux condenser, accumulator, and pump. Overhead vapors from the stripper, mainly consisting of water vapor and acid gases, pass through the reflux condenser, which condenses most the water vapor and the small amount of amine solution which may have vaporized in the stripper. This two-phase stream flows to the reflux accumulator, where the acid gases are separated from the condensed liquids. The acid gases may be sent either to a flare stack or to a sulfur recovery plant, depending on the amount of hydrogen sulfide present. The condensed liquids are pumped to the top of the stripper for reflux. Reflux accomplishes two things in the overhead system of the stripper. First, it cools vapors in the top of the stripper to reduce amine carryover. Secondly, it cools the acid gases in the top of the stripper to reduce their corrosiveness. However, reflux is an additional heat load for the reboiler. Over or under refluxing can be an expensive operational problem. A side stream of 1 to 3 percent of the total amine circulation is fed from the reboiler to the reclaimer. Amine which boils from the top of the reclaimer flows to the vapor outlet of the reboiler. As amine in the reclaimer continues to boil out, the concentration of contaminants will increase and liquid temperature in the reclaimer will also increase. The temperature in a reclaimer should not be allowed to exceed 305 degrees Fahrenheit.